Alright, what's up guys, Reflection here. I'm going to try to go quick with this. This is a ultimate FPS guide for Minecraft, computer boosting, some tricks you may not know, and some mods that you might find fun in Minecraft single player. Alright, let's just get started quickly. Optimine Optifog. This one, pretty basic, everyone uses it. Download, there's instructions down here, just way down there. There's settings to use that are good. And... This one doesn't need MC Patcher, so it makes your life a lot easier. Just download this one. Okay, number two, Mod Loader, which you need to install Mod Loader before you install Optifog and Optimine. Again, installation is pretty basic. If there's time in the end, I'll show you how to do installation, which is used for everything. It's got a frequent ask questions right there, so, yep, okay. Next is too many items. Oh fucking! Right. Wow, fail. I love having a mouse that fucking randomly clicks. Refurbished laptops for the loss. All right, too many items. Got a lot of cool functions. That's basically it. You go to your inventory. You can select anything. Get 64 stack of it. More pages. You can load load presets. I'm guessing. I haven't tried that out, but yeah. Okay. More creeps and weirdos. Haven't fooled around with this one yet, but it looks really cool from what I've been reading about it. Just scroll down and show you. It's got camels, lawyer, hot dogs, training, letter G, hippos, robots, evil snowmen, rockets, bugs, bubble scum, flubes, flubes for the win, enough said. Evil scientist, he's a douchebag. Giant chicken, he should be fun to fool around with. Gotta try this mod after I'm done with this. Alright, next is RAM disk for saves. Okay, there's gonna you're gonna need to download a program called RAM Disk. All these links will be in the description. You don't need to purchase it, just download the free version. Okay. Let's see, I think I already have one. Yep, I do. I'll just go along because I remember how to do it anyways. Okay. Close the stupid ad out. Alright, disk size, you're going to want to add up your Minecraft saves. So, let me just look quickly. Mine is 5 megabytes, but just in case, and plus I have the RAM to spare, so why not just have 50 megabytes dedicated for the save space. Make that 50, make that unformatted. If it, that's not already selected, click that. Load and save. RAMdisk.img should be default. Just check these boxes. Auto save 300 seconds, and you should be good to go. Okay, now you're gonna want to type in part on the search bar. Click, just hit enter. Disk management should come up. This should be black. Your, the drive you just created should be black. So you're gonna, you'd want to right click. Let's see, do I have a drive? I can do this too quickly. Um, I don't. But you're gonna want to click new simple volume. Follow through the steps. It's very self-explanatory. What you need to do, just keep all the settings default. Make sure NTFS format. And then you should be good and something should come up like that. Okay. Now you are going to want to go to your Minecraft save, which is percent app data percent. Go to dot Minecraft. Go to your saves. Copy and paste those, but I've already done this. So there's no point in doing it again. Copy and paste them to the new volume drive and have them right there. Close that out. Good to go. CMD. And go to notepad. Oh, not, don't go to notepad. It's going to be in the description, these commands I pasted. I don't know why I just said that. Oh, it's kind of late. just want to get this done with. I've been inactive for a while. Hopefully this makes up for it and this video goes pretty big in the Minecraft community for people with shitty computers. So, yep. That file already exists because I already did that. And then yours should be good to go. And basically, this using a dedicated RAM to run your saves is because there's so many little files is faster than a hard drive trying to do it. So that's why this is useful. Okay, moving on. CJB mod pack. Very cool mod pack. Just figured out about this today. All links will be in the description. It is really cool. And it's got a mini map. Um, I might as well just show you, to be honest. Alright. 
texture pack I'm using is Minecraft for Kids scaled down to 32 by some guy on the Minecraft forums. I'll have a link to the texture packs. This is a really cool texture pack. Click my world. And I'm lagging because I. Oh, there's too many items. So you press Y. And here comes the commands. You can turn off mods if you're arachnophobic like me. Just spiders, just freak me out. Just rather play without them. Don't, don't know why. Just rather. Just got some cheats, waypoints. Um, got its own built-in. Uh, too many items, but I'd say keep both because the regular too many items gets updated faster than this. But this has, of course, co cool sorting feature. I can't talk. I just want to get this done with. So yep, that's pretty cool. You have your own mini map. Um, I'm at, I'm running far FPS and I'm getting 15 while recording. And that's good because I have shitty standard Intel HD graphics. Very bad. Look at this guy. Look at this crackhead. Hey, look at my eyes. Whee! All right. Got, it's a very good texture pack. Very cool. Just see. Put my render distance down to tiny. And I get 50s. I used to get maybe 5, 10 FPS dropping back to 2 with this. But when I saw all these mods and all all this jazz, just all good. Minecraft's actually playable now on a good texture pack. Okay, let's see. Next is Custom Installer. This one helps a lot. So, what you're going to want to do, go to Notepad. This one, you actually got to go to Notepad. And you're going to want to copy and paste this st uh, string of command. I don't know what it's called. Why did I say that? Whatever. It will be in the description, as always. Just copy. Paste it. File, save as. Minecraft. Dot. Bat. Save as all files, save to your desktop starting out. Okay, now you have this little guy. Go to your Minecraft folder. Dot Minecraft. Let's see. Just drag it in here. And bam. You have your own custom installer that will use less memory, so your Minecraft will have more memory to use for other things like helping the FPS be smoother. Then you're going to want it on your desktop, so just right click, create a shortcut, drag it there. I already have one, just replace it. And proof that this works, I'm not trying to light your house on fire. Um. Hmm. Oh, wow. I'm an idiot. Alright, my bad. My mouse is really glitchy sometimes so it's just kinda hard to copy an entire string okay bet you all thought I was gonna let your house on fire unfortunately I'm not so yeah oh I look like an idiot whatever things happen you know it's all good back to notepad my bad sorry about that file save as all documents mine Craft dot bat. Okay, good to go. It's on your desktop again. Sorry about this. Just a little error because my mouse is on a refurbished laptop, so it's really glitchy. And I thought I copied the whole thing, but that doesn't really matter. So just drag it into your Minecraft. So we'll launch from here, and then you're gonna want to create a shortcut so you can have your desktop, and you can change the icon after, which I don't really care about the icon. And this time, prove that I'm not trying to light your house on fire. There we go. See, I'm not trying to kill you. I love you all. Okay. And, uh, what's my time right now? Let's see, what are we at? I can't even find the thing. Oh, it's right there. Nine minutes. Okay, so, last time I went over 16, so I'm doing this really fast. Let's see, some basic programs. C Cleaner. Really good. Really good registry program. Let's see, yep. I think it's just common to have registry errors. If you just are like active at your computer doing things, it cleans out all your browsers. But I like keeping my password saved for my uh, quote unquote porn sites. Jokes. Advanced System Care, very good program. Get it for pr free on YouTube very easily, the full version, which gives all these good things registry fix, malware scan, optimization, 
And you guys aren't five, you can read. Okay. Um, let's see. Go to right click computer, go to properties, figure this out today on the Minecraft form. Oh whoops. Go to advanced system settings settings and just have these on when you're playing Minecraft. Just tone down your computer's uh RAM hogging resources, so you're all good. I think it looks fine. I need a new background, make one soon. Go to advanced. Now you're gonna want to go to virtual memory, and your initial size will want to be your recommended, and your maximum wants to be double your initial, so 10,122. And click set. You're good to go. You probably have to restart after that. Hmm. Let's see. Another tip for your graphics. There should be some. This should be on all graphics cards. Just like an option if you haven't changed it. Uh, I got a 3D. Just put it to performance over quality. Fuck quality. Performance for the life. Alright, so. Yep, that's good. Um. Uh, yep, that's basically it. Sorry if I sound really rushed. I uh, hope to be making a return and making a lot of YouTube videos. I know I stuttered a lot, but I haven't done a commentary in a while. Plus, this one's kind of lengthy. Oh yeah, plus when you install System Care, you get a cool little desktop widget. Tells me how much I'm using, all that stuff. Probably more settings for it. So, yep. Alright. Oh, forgot one more thing. Advanced System Care. Do I have it running? Yes, I do. It has a turbo boost mode, which stops random, uh, random Windows 7 uh, processes from just hogging up. RAM or memory or just whatever. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but you can configure it. I like having that off because I like to be able to stream music from my Xbox from Windows Media Player. Um, no, I don't want to make it like that. It looks like a piece of shit on wheels. Mm, no, I'll just keep it. Just got to remember. And now it's turning on boost mode. Yep. Uh... Hmm. Uh, I don't know, I really know what I'm doing. Because I have a lot more time than before, so. I'll just end it right here. Um, thank you for watching my tutorial. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Get all these links. It's kind of a lot of effort. Could really appreciate it. If you could just click that like button for me. Alright, peace.